Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of my channel. And I am going to be talking about something that I've had an issue with for the last few years. And I'm finally gonna put myself to the test or to the challenge. Um, <clears throat> so this year for my New Year's resolution, I didn't necessarily give myself a resolution, um, nor is it necessarily a goal. It's more like of a challenge to myself um, because I know my habits and I know the way that I am in when it comes around relationships. And so to start off, um, this year I gave myself a goal or a challenge and that was to challenge myself to stay single for the whole year because in my habits, I always find myself going from relationship to relationship, whether I get into a relationship that I'm really into, that I pursue the person, it goes on for about a year or so, and then that person ends up breaking up with me. Then I get into another relationship in a matter of months and that person wants to be with me and I get into it because I don't want to be lonely and I don't want to be by myself and you know, I'm thinking that I'm gonna be good in this relationship, even though I didn't really heal from the breakup, and I'm just using this relationship to cope. I end up breaking up with that relationship, and then I single for a few months, and then the cycle happens over again. So I, even my, my best friend Rosa, she knows that I am like this, and she always calls me out on it. And you know, she tries to challenge me, like, why don't you try to just try to be single for a while? Even my mom says, why can't you try to be single for a while? And so this year, I challenged myself to that, you know, because I'm always getting into these relationships. And my last relationship, um, it did some serious damage. If you've watched any of my Facebook videos, my Facebook lives, you know, I've talked about it a lot where I would go radio silent for a few weeks, even a month, where I wasn't doing any videos because I was enduring the damage from that relationship. I didn't want that energy to to transverse into the energy that I usually always have when I do my videos. And so I stepped back. I stepped back from making my content. I stepped back from interacting with my Facebook people and it that even that got me sad so you know I feel like I want to the reason for this is because I feel like I want to give myself time to heal and focus on me and really be the man that I know that I can be really be the self-sufficient man that I know that I can be and and give to somebody else when I'm ready to give that to somebody else just as much that just as much as I would want to have somebody that's full and complete and healed given to me. And I felt like if the next relationship is going to be worth my time, I deserve to be that, be worth that person's time as well. So one thing that I know had a big impact on the duration of how long it took me to move on in this, in my relationship or even get over this last one um, was self-care. I know that self-care is completely important right now. I know it's a major thing in almost any and everything that we do. I just wasn't doing it the right way. So I know that I need to take care of myself. What I was doing for self-care at the moment, at that moment, didn't help. The main thing that I was doing wrong, I was emotionally eating my feelings. I was completely heartbroken. I was completely devastated. I you know, I didn't want to be around anyone or do anything. I wanted to just go and get my carne asada fries or my six tacos from da from Jack in the Box or, you know, get my wiener schnitzels thing going on. Like, I wanted to eat my feelings. And again, if you see some of my videos from the past, you're like, wow, his face really filled out to put it in a nice way. The emotional eating took a toll on my body. And I think that devastated me as much more of going along with the relationship part too. Um, the emotional eating cost me an extra 70 pounds of weight gain. And man, when I would get on the scale, that would just make me even more sadder. And then I would eat again to feel some kind of happiness because food was always there for me. And I'm pretty sure that's a lot with a lot of people. We eat when we're happy. We eat when we're sad. 
those there's some health parts to it like you eat with a great with your family and that's okay but when you're eating at home alone by yourself on the couch watching netflix and ballooning your stomach up to where you can't put any more food in it that's where i was at to be honest and so that wasn't working and i started to know that that wasn't working and little by little i was getting out of it little by little i was moving forward little by little i was telling more people about my story and they were telling me that i could do it that i could move on that i can redevelop myself into who i'm supposed to be so one thing that i learned was to give myself the time give myself space and time and solitude not isolation solitude give myself the chance to be alone with myself and get to know myself again do the things that i like to do alone and on my own like yeah i would go out with my friends or my best friend rosa or my sister and stuff or go with family but there's a lot of things that i know that i needed to do on my own and get used to being in my own bubble of time and space because that's my personal time that was my personal way of healing of just being with myself whether it's out in nature or whether it's actually watching something that i wanted to watch not have to watch it because somebody else was that's a big thing too might not sound like it but it kind of is so <clears throat> the wrong thing that i did was emotionally eat and get into that too a little bit too much the right thing that I'm doing now is letting myself be alone, not feel like I have to go out to all the clubs, I have to go out to all the parties, or I have to go out and be seen, I have to go out and do these things. That's not healing. That just puts more stress and pressure on yourself. Um, let's see, I'm looking at my notes right here. <laughs> um, another thing is that I wanted to be in a state of love, light, and peace, something that I preach the most and I'm adjusting my lighting. And something that I preach the most. And so the only way that I could do that is really be by myself and journal and do my meditations and do, you know, my walks alone out in the hiking area that's behind me and really just get to know myself. That is so valuable when you could just really get to know yourself because you are a completely different person when you're outside of a relationship, especially a toxic one. You're a completely different person when you're outside of that toxic relationship. You know, like you're a different person. If like, you know you're a different person if when you're with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you're doing things and stuff like that, and then you go and you be with your, your homegirls and your homeboys or whatever, you're a completely different person. You're doing things, you're wilding it out. You're doing things that are not necessarily acceptable by that person that you're with because you want to kind of tone it down a bit. That's not healthy. So that is all stuff that I had to learn about. That is all stuff that I had to go through. And I would have my friends tell me, well, why aren't you over it yet? I needed to cry every single tear that needed to be cried. I needed to weep every single weep that needed to be weeped. I needed to endure every single dark night of the soul that needed to be endured. And I came through on the other end. Here I am making my videos again, which this is some one of the biggest things that brings me joy is making these videos, editing them, adding cool little things into them and getting my lighting right and stuff. I love doing these things. Oh, my camera just messed up. I love doing these things. So, and I stepped away from that because I was heartbroken. Anyways, I digress a little bit. So, my challenge to myself this year is to stay single for the whole year. And I'm gonna do that. Um, I've had a few inquiries already but they don't resonate with me. What resonates with me is actually giving myself the year and the time and the patience to heal. Because the next person deserves that. The next person that I spend my time with, they deserve that. You need, you deserve that. You deserve that to give it to yourself too if you're experiencing any of the same kinds of things. So, that's why. 
and that felt actually like really really good so anyways to wrap this up i am doing my youtube channel now and i am here i'm also in my private facebook group love light and peace you can look put in the search box and you'll find it right there in facebook i'm also in my instagrams a lot uh, you can find the link to the Facebook group down below and just look up Adam A. Martinez in IG and you should find my little bald head right there. And yeah, so other than that, guys, please subscribe in the little red button down over here somewhere. And it would be great to have that as well as I'm building this channel and bringing all kinds of sort of good content for you guys as well. All right. So that's it. I'm wrapping it up. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.